Hey, hey, welcome back to another beautiful day here in Cape Coral, Florida, where it was decimated by the hurricane here on the Caloosahatchee River. But it's coming along. It really is everywhere. These guys have been doing a tremendous job on the cleanup efforts here, really cleaning the debris out of the trees, to the houses, to everything. Everything's getting taken care of a lot faster pace than I thought. It's about five months now and it's it's a big improvement. So shout out to those guys doing cleanup, man, around here. Unbelievable job. We're gonna get after some fish here in the Caloosahatchee River today. It's been a struggle on the beaches with the cool front that just came through yesterday over the weekend. I didn't have any luck fishing the beaches. So Today, we have a little time in between jobs. We're gonna cast around here in the Caloosahatchee River where we know there's fish. We know they're in here because they're keeping away from that red tide we had. So we know they're up in the river in the little bit warmer waters. It's not quite spring, summer yet. Water's not heating up enough for them to move out to the beaches like they will be next month. So next month, we'll be out on the beaches a lot more, catching a lot bigger fish. So for right now, let's see what we could find here in the Caloosahatchee River. It's very beautiful, look at this. So let's get after it, guys. Hope you enjoy, stay tuned. I'll show you how easy it is here with just one lure, some clear flu uh, fluorocarbon leader, 40 pound leader with 15 pound braid. Look at all the spade fish down here. Couple little baby snook down there, I see. Oh wow. And I see a ton of little snook. Look at this. Look at all those little mullets stacked up with some small snook down here. There's a good one, big one, nice one. Nice one, oh, come on, baby, nice one. They weren't hitting over there by the docks, but I get down here and we find a good one. It's a big one. It's a good one. Trying not to make them jump. It's a big one. Oh, yeah. oh wow, it's a fatty. It's a fatty. Man. Nice fish. Nice fish. They're so likely to spit these hooks that I use. We're hoping that don't happen this time. Oh, 
Oh, we got other fish chasing them down, guys. We got other fish behind them. Nice big, nice big uh, river snook. I'm trying to get him to come back this way because. Uh, I'm trying to get wet. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, this is a big fish. Come on. Come on. Oh man, he, she does not want to come in. I'm trying not to force it. Oh man. This is a giant. Holy smokes, this is a fat snook. There goes the lure. Look at that one shake of the head. When these snook can sit up on their belly like this, you know it's big. Holy smokes. My biggest snook this year. This is a friggin' giant. This is a massive fish. Oh man, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes, not super long, but super fat. This thing weighs like 15, 20 pounds. Oh, Oof, oh my gosh, and it's clamping down on my finger like crazy. All right, we're gonna get him in the water. Massive fish, massive, massive fish. un believable look at the size of this snook we got we lucked out i told you they love these pink twitch baits they absolutely love them so there's a good look at him he's got his gills in the water he's just fine right now he's slightly out of the water on the back side we just want to i'm not trying to get wet right now as you can see so unbelievable Unbelievable big healthy female snook. Awesome. Super nice. Super super nice. Look at the size of this tail. Oh my god, that's a big fish. There she goes. Absolutely beautiful big fat giant snook 
probably about 36 inches three feet long but super fat super healthy there she goes she was hiding over by the trees you guys hear it from me all the time find the overhang trees trees that overhang the water the fish love it they love it because it gives them protection that sense of security other than out here in the open where they're vulnerable to other predators they like to have some kind of place to hide like trees or docks we even seen them down here by the docks but not like that we got the big one and we're super happy about that so I think that might be it we're gonna cast around we're gonna cast around a little bit more but we're definitely happy with that it really makes up for struggling the past weekend so that makes up for it and here we are Caloosahatchee River just like I said you know next month and and you know April and May the waters will warm up they'll start moving out to the to the uh, Gulf more but they're still in here they're still in the river you know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a like if you liked it give me a sub if you haven't subscribed to this kind of fishing inshore on foot with lures especially and uh and yeah we got another one snook master does it again all right let's get after it uh we'll see you guys if not on the next video thanks for watching let's check the frayage on this nice 40 pound leader got it done we hooked them right in the lip of the mouth the front lip of the mouth not the corner so that's really not the best hook set but technically it is because if he turns left you're still in the center you can swivel the line around if it's on one corner of his mouth and he turns he could cut you off so i would rather hook him in the front lip of the mouth just because it can swivel from left to right as he turns she was so shallow too man she was in like a foot of water so shallow There's one, a little little one. There's tons of babies over here in the corner. And then the big boy, big boys are down there. Okay, here we go, two down. We're, we happen to get another little one, and that's gonna complete our day here. I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on more here at Corey's Fishing Adventures. Thanks for watching.